Hey guys, Ryan Salins, Trans Mentor. Um, if you're interested in more around that new title of mine, I'll be having updates on my website soon, so please check that out. The website will be changing, which is kind of exciting. I'm going to start doing a weekly uh, Q&A, answering questions that I get from anonymous individuals in the community. Uh, today's Q&A is going to be on a question, will it ever get better for my family? as in regards to your transition and the answer is yes will it ever be the way that you would like it to be uh, it depends every family goes through their own coming out process when someone comes out as trans uh, every family member goes through their own grieving process and when we talk about the grieving process typically it first begins with um, denial shock and denial uh, then it moves into anger, blaming you for things that are happening to family, uh, blaming you for things that have happened outside the family. Just they're really angry and they can say very hurtful things to you at that time. Then it can move into depression and sadness. Uh, there may be a lot of crying, a lot of I don't understand why. Can you just slow this down? Do we need to be going through this so fast? Uh, we would hope that family can move into tolerance, um, where they've moved through those other processes. And then the ideal place would be for family to move into acceptance. And that's where they fully see you as who you are. Uh, they use your chosen name. They use your chosen pronoun. And you can start to actually work on a relationship that is going to be the future and not be focusing on the past. Um, some family members can go through this coming out process or their own grieving process at a pretty quick period of time. I know some individuals that families are accepting from the very beginning and just there to support them. Others, it may take a few months. Others, it may take a year, a couple years, three years, four years. And sadly, there are some situations where the family just cannot cope with your identity and your transition. On the bright side, I've worked with transit, transgender individuals from around the world for the past five years. And it's typically on the very low percentage rate where families just cannot ever come to grasp with it. The key for you during this time in your coming out process is to stay true to who you are your identity, honor that, and keep that as your central power. Uh, and when your family says hurtful things, or when you're picking up on their energy of sadness, not to let that directly hit you, all right? Because their processes are, again, not about you. It's their own stuff that they have to deal with, their own fears, their own emotions. It's just easier to put it on you because at this point, transition is the, uh, the issue that's in the forefront. Uh, so the key is to stay strong with yourself, be open to communication with family members. Try not to be defensive. When you have defensive conversations, then emotions tend to get escalated and the goal that both you and your family would want to have will not be met because uh, the uh, hard emotions are just overshadowing everything else. Um, if you have a question or if there's something I said here that you'd like to know more about, go ahead and email me, ryan at ryansounds.com. And please uh, pay attention to my website and what trans mentoring looks like, what services I can be offering you all in the future. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'm looking forward to the next question. Thank you.